quite impressed with how low key the mods you've done to this car. I mean, is the exhaust the only thing you've done? Yeah. You feel like you're growing up a little bit. Well, I'm 30 years old now. <laughs> Well, hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. A bit of an old school vlog today. I got a busy day and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. So yeah, Paul and I have just been catching up uh, over lunch. Um, we're now headed, quite excitingly I think, to the Sh Museum. For the first time. For the first time, see Tim Shmi 150 who's finally moved into his garage, studio, Muse museum. Shmi HQ. Shmi, Shmi Q, Shmi, Shmi. Well, uh, he'll have all the little names, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, we neither of us have been there yet, and he's just moved in. We want to check it out, catch up with Tim, and see what his plans for I the can't space wait to are. Shmi it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's quite good, actually. <laughs> This place is huge. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Yeah. It's, does it's, it feel weird or does it feel exciting or? It still feels kind of surreal, like, like it hasn't happened yet. This has been in the works for so long that it's now like, are we actually here? But it's still the beginning of the project because there's so much we want to do, so many things we want to do. Which is basically what I want to find out because okay. obviously now we both have our own HQs, yeah. I guess. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm so intrigued to see how you're going to build this space out because this is about 17 times bigger than my own space but it's also a blank canvas right now, right? It is. That was the beauty of it and this is already quite significantly redone from how this looked. There was no concrete floor, it was a milking parlour so it actually sat like a metre lower in the middle and it was just dirt and dirt and mess. There was no lighting like this, just a single light in the middle. It was open front and back. You got the ladder out and up you went. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pretend I did. Pretend. <laughs> I figured what would be more fun than starting with the shell and bringing the audience along for the build of this. And learning how to wire lights and do concrete flooring. <laughs> Some of it's going to become a DIY channel. What I would say at least learning how to find the right people who do know how to yeah, do sure. it. <laughs> That's always important. Uh, okay, well, look, give, give me the tour. I mean, the cars will leave because I know Paul's going to be doing a video on cars and obviously my audience, well, I, I think most people will be familiar with them. So yeah. let me nerd out on, on studio spaces. So talk me through, what's this place I mean, going to become? So you come in, obviously, from the shutter and the door. You'll come into a little reception room. Then we're going to have this office. So a nicely well-presented, clean and tidy, nice artworks, some desks, a lounge area, TV, in an office with a glass wall through to the hall. At the end, obviously, the facilities, toilet, kitchen, that kind of stuff. Up top, games mezzanine. Mm -hmm. Inner Child is coming out in force. Okay. Skeletric. Hot Wheels, you name it, it's going up there, not holding back. Then out here, you've kind of got two distinct halves, not like separated by a barrier. This side is going to be what we're kind of calling the museum side. So the flagship cars, all the memorabilia, the stuff that we can go through and I can show you some really cool things in the boxes behind, arcade machines, mannequins wearing race suits, artworks. But is that actually going to be like an open museum or is it a museum no, for like yourself? a private garage but okay. to share online, of course and even things like the broken parts from the center. You know, all the stuff that came off it. it <laughs> Why did you pan the camera to me? Because <laughs> you started laughing when it's a broken center. You just like, ha, ha, ha. They are some very expensive broken carbon fiber bits. I can imagine. Yeah, so this will be parked diagonally and all kind of, um, you know, museum-esque. And then the opposite side is more like storage. The cars that won't come out so frequently, eventually sitting on uh, storage lifts. So we'll have hopefully maybe eight lifts down that wall. Or eight spaces at least. Does that mean new cars coming? That means 16 cars plus eight more cars <laughs> means... And there's only, a, I mean, you're missing the SLS Black Series, but... And the GD500. So cur GD500. currently it's 14. Very soon it's going to get a little bit more than that. That's when you zoom in. Right. That's, when, that's the drama. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Like, see if you can reveal a secret through, like, telepathy <laughs> exactly. or something. Like, to the camera. Um, okay, you mentioned some models and some things. Let's go yeah, check so out those, because you've already got so much stuff. What? I'm a big kid at heart. And these are big toys, but you don't always want to go out. You don't always want to drive. You don't always, it's pouring with rain, whatever. So you want to play Sometimes with toy cars on a car mat somewhere. Yes, yeah. and that's what this is. Whether it's playing Sega Rally, and I mean, of our generation who didn't play Sega Rally in the 90s, and particularly the fun of this is the whole Toyota GR 
style castrol livery that we kind of replicated on the GR Yaris. That was the inspiration for that. But then it's all the like the Lego and the model cars. And I have this really, really nerdy collection of model cars where basically every car I've ever owned, I've had spec matched to the real one. First time I ever saw you as a human being was on Sloan Street with the in roof down in one of those. Well, in this, yeah, Midnight Purple with the plate on. And I've got all of the cars, like everything here. Um, you know, we were talking about AMG GTRs, the first one I had. And these are, you're going to try and display these all somewhere? You're going to build so out a sort of... These are all going to be out. They, these I've been collecting for ages. I used to have them at home, but they were all shoved into a small cabinet in my, in my living room. And now they'll be like in a nice spacious display. Then it's just all the random stuff that accumulates over the years. And the, oh, wow. This is cool. This is really cool. Signed by the team basically from Lego and from Bugatti when they launched the Chiron Lego, Lego Technic. And these will make up the kind of museum element, yeah, this, kind of, this kind of stuff? All this kind of stuff, particularly this box. This is like, this is the box of awesomeness. <laughs> box of the box awesomeness. of awesomeness. Oh, he says, I need to undo the catches. Do you know what's in here? No, no idea. Could be the center broken part. Do you it... know now what's in here? Nope. Do you know what's in here? The center. Oh, oh I got it. I got it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty outrageous. Amalgam 1 to 8 scale. See, this is the stuff which I think is so nice. So I have been sent amazing stuff by, by viewers and stuff like that over the sort of last yeah. 12 months or so. I've been trying to sort of display things. But you, what's so exciting for you is you're just at the beginning of that journey. Yeah, of going through all of this. Because I've, I've rented a storage box for the last kind of five years where I've just been dumping stuff and then getting a larger storage place and then dumping more stuff. And it's just been growing and growing like that. But you forget what you've put in. And we haven't even pulled everything back here yet. Like, you've got more got stuff here you can keep adding. Fractions of it. I mean, I just look around here, and it's like even the random bits and pieces we've already got out, like disappear through the flags. <laughs> so to, the like, to the temporary office, yeah. where the team are hiding. <laughs> when when Gumball were in Las Vegas, pillows, obviously. Why not? All those random kind of things. Heritage Focus RS bags that were made by the Focus RS Owners Club. Some pictures and things. Some really cool stuff, actually. Um, that's just waiting to go up and a nice piece by road oh, nice. race rally of gp4 that photo from the gumball start in 2015 super cool happy times um you have got a ton of stuff like lights and oh, look at that Ford Ford, Ford, yeah, that's super badge, cool. just stuff and then obviously the, the the car storage bits and pieces sorry i got a little excited no no this will be sorry, really man. cool we need to get a frame made up we've got i've got the led back oh, lighting kit for it because <laughs> No Ferraris in here, Tim. Not for now. Super cool. As I say, congrats. It's mega to see. I think, uh, I think the F-Type looks fantastic here, I have to say. Um, but it's I a great, say. because there's so much space, it's a great photo kind of opportunity set as well. Well, that's like, thing, and as you build out those photo moments, will start to become, I guess, yeah. an iconic part of, of the Schmuseum. Which is why, by the way, we did the wall like this, to give it that distinct vibe. If a photo is taken in here, you know it's taken here. Okay. Like every collection, if, you, you know what I mean. But if you see a photo taken in Manny Koshman's collection, you know it's there. If you see a photo taken in Speedy Jeff or Dan Amai's collection with the red walls, you know it's there. That, that kind of instant character that a place yeah. has. Yeah, STGHQ, mould mushrooms. You know? <laughs> <laughs> People see that mould, they know where they are. I wasn't going to say, but... <laughs> Do you know what the best thing about that whole thing is seeing all of his number plates together? All the number plates together. And just all the cars. Yeah. I mean, I've seen them on photos, but you're, you're not, that, that didn't work for so long because someone was going, why is he putting 95 in a GTR? I'm going to get so much hate for this. I just don't care. <laughs> Well, I have to say, I totally agree with Paul, not about putting low-grade fuel in your car, uh, but about the fact that the Schmuseum was awesome. Uh, so nice to see Tim and catch up with him, but I wanted to check out that space, here's plans for it. We filmed a hilarious video for Paul's channel, starting up uh, all the cars and revving a few, and yeah, anyway, that was a lot of fun. And I think Tim also was filming for his new channel, The Schmuseum, so it felt like a good old OG YouTuber filming day. We all knocked out videos and it was great. But as you can see, I've now loaded up with snacks because we've got a sort of two hour drive, I think, up towards uh, Norwich uh, for this big Lotus event. So yeah, I'm going to settle in to the F-Type and get cruising. Well, we have made 
made it to Lotus Cars. I, I get the feeling that, that maybe we're the, the worst, oh, I should say worst dressed, but definitely most underdressed yeah, people at this event. I'll be sharing more of my thoughts on the Amira on the podcast. If you don't know about my podcast, Behind the Glass, just literally search Behind the Glass on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc. And yes, we're talking a lot more about it, but fundamentally, so excited by this car. I think it is absolutely huge for Lotus. Love the way it looks, love the sort of, well, everything really about it. And it was very exciting to see it dynamically, yeah. man manoeuvring and, and doing bits and hear it even. It's for me, it's a price point. Like, I'm so excited because it's going to be a really fun car to drive on the road, but it's at like a really, affordable price point comparative to all of the 300 400 grand supercars that we're seeing at the moment with 800 brake horse that's exactly it i've stopped walking because i'm not allowed to film the minute i go that side of the fence i'm not allowed to film we so uh, we got told off so yeah i'm going to sign off the video here i hope you guys have enjoyed it great to catch up with tim great for us to catch up do a little bit of a road trip and then yes see a new car amazing give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it make sure you stay subscribed for plenty more videos to come